Hello guys, I'm Stephanie and I work for a company called Interhex that helps people who want to study in Bulgaria, just apply for Bulgarian universities, settle in Bulgaria, etc. So I've noticed that a lot of people, students, um, as well as foreigners who want to live and work in Bulgaria, they need help with finding a flat in Bulgaria. And of course, this is not an easy task and it's an important step. So today I just want to tell you some things, 10 things that you should keep in mind when you want to find or rent an apartment in Bulgaria. First thing, uh, looking for a flat online has pros and cons. What I mean is that, for instance, you're, uh, before you arrive in Bulgaria, you look for a flat online. However, some of the ads online are outdated. So you should be very careful and also pics, uh, like pictures do not represent reality. Of course, uh, like the best rooms will be taken as a picture. However, you'll never see a picture of the area around or the entrance of the building. So I really recommend if you have a, a friend, a local in Bulgaria to check out the area for you or maybe even better to find a flat when you are already in Bulgaria. This is how you're going to avoid problems like you have rented the apartment, but then it turns out that the area is not nice. So just better be in Bulgaria or ask a friend to show you around. Secondly, estate agents charge differently. It is normal that you use an estate agent. It, it's rather hard to find something by yourself online. I personally, as a Bulgarian, I also use an estate agent. And in the, usually their service fee is between 50 and 100% of a monthly rent of the flat that you found. So don't pay anything to them before you actually saw the contract of the flat that you liked. You might want to see the contract first, of course. And after you pay them, always ask for a receipt. Um, also, be like discuss with them what is included in their fee. Some people might, uh, like some landlords or some estate agents might uh, pick you up from the airport, for instance, or just be more helpful than others. Thirdly, the rental agreement must be signed in English, of course. You're not from Bulgaria, so of course you must know what you're signing. So ask the landlord or the estate agent if the contract is only available in Bulgarian language to make an official English translation on the site so that you know what you're signing. I think it's common sense. Next thing, your name must be included in the contract. Imagine if uh, somebody is looking for a roommate and you find their offer online. So you decide to move in with this person. Make sure that your name is added in the contract because later as a foreigner you have to apply for a residence permit. It's something like a Bulgarian ID and one of the necessary documents to apply for this ID is a contract that has your name in it. Next thing you should bear in mind when you sign a contract is that you must sign a handover protocol. It is a list that describes the furniture and the items that the landlord is leaving behind, like in the apartment, when you move in. For instance, TV, um, desk, wardrobe, etc. Um, these things are basically uh, to for, as a guarantee to the landlord that when you leave the apartment, you won't steal anything or everything will just be in the apartment. So one thing that you should do is really first check that all the items are really there so that later the landlord doesn't ask for them. Also, if there's any damage or if something is broken, make sure this is noted down on the protocol so that the landlord doesn't claim you did this. And when you leave the apartment, of course, sign the same protocol so that you make sure that everything is there and the landlord also signs the protocol and agrees with that. Sixth thing that you should bear in mind is that the land, it's normal that the landlord asks for a deposit. It is something like it will not disappear magically. Uh, it will be returned to you when you leave the apartment. Uh, usually this happens uh, because the contra most contracts are signed for a year. So this thing just serves as a guarantee for the landlord that you won't leave earlier than the contract expires and you won't break anything. So this means that if uh, like when you leave the apartment, if something is broken, 
just the landlord will take some amount of the deposit or even the whole of it if you broke something big. Um, sometimes the landlord might ask for might ask for to deposit. This is usually not very common. Uh, so I really recommend you just discuss this with the landlord and you hope you, he agrees or she agrees that uh, it's only one deposit. Mm, make sure that the contract really states when and under what condition this deposit will be returned to you. And make sure you also when you pay the deposit you receive some kind of a receipt or the contract states that uh, by signing the contract it means that you have also paid the deposit. One thing that you might be happy about is that bargaining is an option, however, don't overdo it. Uh, for instance, if the landlord is in a rush or you prepay several months rent, uh, you might ask for a small discount. However, uh, bargaining in Bulgaria is usually considered a rude practice, so don't overdo it so that uh, you just have a good relationship with the landlord. According to the contract, you must also be able to live with one month notice. Some landlords try to make the contract that if you leave earlier, before, like before the, the contract expires, then you have to pay all rents until the contract expires. However, uh, usually like living with one month notice is your right. Imagine that your neighbors are too loud or you change the job that you have found or the area is not nice. So you must be able to live at any point without paying any further charges. This is why there is a deposit. One of the last things that you should definitely know is that all payments must be clearly stated in the court contract and paid accordingly. I made some notes so that we make sure that everything is clear. First, bills. It's normal that you cover uh, the, the, the rent does not cover bills like electricity, Wi-Fi, etc. So usually you pay for them. However, in a contract, it must be stated how you will pay for them. For instance, will your landlord pay them and then just provide you with the receipt and then you just pay him or her back? Or will you have to go to the respective offices and you pay for your bills? Second thing, government tax, like property tax. Usually the landlord covers this, but it must be written in the contract as well. Thirdly, in Bulgaria, there is something like called like entrance fee. This is a fee paid by all people living in the building. It just covers usually like five leva per month. Usually just covers the cleaning up of the common areas like elevators, stairs, etc. This must be stated in the contract. Like who pays this? Like my contract didn't have it actually. So at some point I had to discuss this with the landlord. Um, one more thing, repairs. For instance, if something gets broken. For small repairs, like if a pipe breaks or, I don't know, something small happens, you usually you have to cover the fees. However, if something big is to be changed, like a new window or new door or something in the building, usually the landlord, as an owner of the apartment, must change these things and also cover the fees and expenses. Uh, one last thing, of course, the rent. The contract must say, uh, say whether you have to pay via bank transfer or cash. And if you pay cash, always ask for a seat. It's just like a proof that you have paid the rent. And the last thing that you should uh, keep in mind uh, when you sign a contract is that the contract must have at least these points uh, included. First, your names and the names of the landlord, plus the address of the property, and of course the passport or ID numbers of both parties. Uh, secondly, the price of the rent and how it is to be paid, as I said, bank transfer, cash. Uh, thirdly, the deposit, how is it to be paid and under what conditions it will be returned to you. Also, uh, when does the contract start and when does it expire? Mm, and for instance, if you're a student and in the summer months you don't live in Bulgaria, are you allowed to sublet the flat or not? Just avoiding problems with the landlord. And one more thing that I find really, really important is ending the contract. If something happens or just want to leave the apartment, when, how, like is it like with the notice, with via email, via phone, how and under what conditions are you or the landlord allowed to end the contract? These were my recommendations for things that you should know before and when you sign a rental and tenancy agreement in Bulgaria. 
And of course, uh, keep in mind we're all humans. So if there is a problem with the landlord, with the apartment, always discuss these things with the landlord. Uh, he or she might be able to make a compromise, depending on the situation, of course. And if you're planning to move to Bulgaria or just leave or study in Bulgaria, make sure you leave a comment below and ask for everything that you're interested in. We'll just make another useful video. And I hope you enjoy your stay in Bulgaria.